I wake up at 5.28, kind of slap myself awake a little bit, can drink a water, and brush my teeth, get some dirty shorts. Uh, I'll even wear shorts two days in a row if they're not that dirty, because I don't really care what I look like in a cornfield. Eat a little breakfast, start packing up my things in my cooler, make sure my water's set, make sure I got my iPod, my phone, uh, my radio, check the weather real quick, just kind of put all the stuff in, get everyone loaded up and roll from there. Oh, uh, when everyone's getting the buses, the big thing is efficiency, so right away that's the first thing I'm doing is counting how many people are on my bus. And uh, usually I'll talk to the boss, figure out what, what fields we're going to, up the bus driver out where we're going. You want your machines to be set up where everyone's about equal as picking efficiency, so your best people on one, two, three, you know. That, that's a big deal as far as uh, making sure we're as efficient as possible. Detasseling has long been a part of the corn world. Detasseling helps to enable seed corn to produce the highest quality of seed possible through cross-pollination. Corn plants naturally have both male and female characteristics. If the corn plant is left alone, it will self-pollinate. The tassel will release pollen onto its own silks. When this happens, the corn plant produces kernels that cannot be used as seed. Detasseling is simply the act of removing the tassel from the top of the corn plant. By removing the tassel, the plant is designated female. The plants with the tassel still attached are designated as male. This way, the male corn plants appropriately cross-pollinate with the female corn plants. Male pollen plus female silks equals awesome corn seed. Come fall, the kernels of corn are harvested from the cob on the stock and will become next season's seed for Nebraska corn producers. When it's time to detassel, then the seed corn company comes in, brings in the mechanical pullers to pull a lot of the tassels first, and brings in the personnel carriers if it's tall. Mechanical pullers pull about 70 to 90 percent of the tassels. Mm -hmm. So the workers go through and then they pull anything that the machine misses that they can get the first time. Then they have to go in one or two times to clean up to get it to 99.7. Right. They can only miss three tassels in a thousand for a field to pass. To do a round, which means they do one row up and one row back, will probably take them about <coughs> an hour and 15 minutes. The work's tough, but you get a lot of hours, you get paid really well especially compared to other jobs around here. Yeah, and, you know, the brass is full of a lot of, you know, blue collar work ethic type people, you know, they're really good to be around. Uh, you know, they don't complain a lot. Like the parents, I know they all detasseled, so, you know, they're having all their kids detassel. I mean, you share what he's paying, you kind of know what everyone's dealing with. You move on forward with a, a good work ethic and uh, knowledge that you'll use for the rest of your life. I'm Jimmy O'Keefe. Seven years Tassler, and I'm Cornborn. We gotta stay positive.